Wow! <laughs> nice stick you got there. You know, with a big stick comes big responsibility. <laughs> Joy Lofts and Towers are looking mighty fine. All right, <laughs> all right, <laughs> enough's enough. So here's a quick pro tip, I think. I'm not a personal trainer, I'm not an expert, but you can see my arms are pretty defined and pretty vascular for the most part. That's not just genetics and habits and lifestyle and diet. The fact that I'm wearing those black gloves with the wrist straps on are actually making a difference. They're making my arms more defined and more vascular. I actually saw a guy in a gym like a year ago and his arms looked like they were literally cut like right out of a comic book, to be honest. And I was like, what is this guy doing differently? And I noticed he was wearing gloves just like the gloves that I have on right now. What me oh nice vlog stick. You know the great vlog stick comes a great hand grip. Welcome to my vlog. <laughs> it's her vlog now, I guess. <laughs> Cooking salmon. Woo! This cucumber has caught a serious case of elephantitis. Where? Right there. It's almost as big as my Whoa! This is a true fun fact for you. When I bought that in the store, I literally thought it was an organic cucumber. And I got home and Mia read what the label on it said. It literally said zucchini. So for those of you who are wondering why I can't tell the difference between a cucumber and a zucchini, this is literally why I just have other people shop for me and buy groceries. I stuck a little pest control goo over here in the corner of my cabinet. If you wake up in the morning and you check your cabinet and you see little doo-doo particles next to that goo right there, you know you tricked his ass. That is the sound of salmon. Yeah, I know. I Cooking on a pan. Excellent form, very good technique, extremely well endowed with a spatula, very gifted. Wow, mesmerizing, yikes. How do you do it? What, what, okay, don't get, don't get, don't get clever. The fire alarm again, that would be horrible. If you haven't tried these quad ratinis, Napolitana, blah, blah, Napolitana flavor, definitely do so. Nice stick you got there. You know, with a big stick comes big responsibility. <laughs> So we're riding in a buggy right now, just straight out of the proscenium at Rockwell, just driving around and it's so much fun, especially at night when it's cooler and uh, golf carts are just so enjoyable. I would definitely encourage you to jump on one of those and let the wind hit you in the face. It's like a party. My goodness. Got the power plant mall coming right up. A Rockwell 8 lit up at night. Oh, that's a bit bumpy. The breeze feels great going up my shorts. Got a really nice stick there. I don't know why I don't use that stick to suit my purposes. So we are in Rockwell right now in Makati in Manila, of course, Philippines. So this is actually the lobby for the Belmori Suites. They're actually built right into the mall of Power Plant, the, right into the Power Plant Mall. It's incredible. Also incredibly expensive. All right, we're out in front of Power Plant Mall and there's like a really nice place you can walk around that has like tons of plants and stuff like that. And uh, it's pretty nice during the day and at night. Definitely would recommend it. Looks like a dog park as well. Where did Mia go? Oh, she's hiding back there with her face mask on like a law-abiding citizen, which is a good movie. Oh, it's really dark over here. Yikes, probably can't see anything. I'm a professional vlogger, as you can tell. Can't even see what we're looking at. Doing a twirly. Nice. Hello. How's it going? Let's find your dad real quick. Let's go. Don't get run over. Today. Your vlogging skills off the charts. So this is Rockwell 8.
<laughs> Epic fail. I definitely recommend the Wildflower Cafe Bakery. It's kind of higher priced, but the food there is very, very good. Nice. We'll take it. Everything's like beautifully lit up at night. Like all the signs are like LED lighting. Even the street names or the street signs is uh, quite modern and beautiful, aesthetically pleasing to the eye for sure. So this is actually right outside the power plant mall. There is a strip right here. Kind of has some BGC vibes with the hanging incandescent like Edison light bulbs on the string there. Lots of good restaurants right there, and uh, it's definitely a nice little vibe. We were vlogging this on a Thursday night, and as you can see, it's pretty busy. These buildings look so amazing in person at night. I did my best to get a good shot with the iPhone 13 camera, but that, again, in person, they look just remarkable. Holy shit. <laughs> that building right there is so big, especially when you have the wide lens camera angle and you're just going up and up and up and up. That's why I was like, holy shit, because it was just like, kept going on and on and on, way more than I expected. It looks so tall from my vantage point. As you'll see me discuss later in this vlog, there's like so much beauty actually in Makati and in Manila. I'm in the nice, nicest possible like square or block or streets. So there's definitely other parts of Makati that are significantly more run down, but just keep it in mind, it's a balance. It's kind of funny how few lights are actually on in some of these condominium residences slash buildings. It's, it's like, it seems like the occupants are either not home or they haven't been like sold yet or rented yet or something, but it is kind of funny to acknowledge that. What? What me oh? Nice vlog stick. You know, with a great vlog stick comes a great hand grip. I smile. Having feedback. So this place right here, the refinery, was just recently built. It was really crowded and packed for a Thursday night. It's really nice. It's got like that curvy shape, floor to ceiling windows, and it looks more like a, a restaurant slash bar. What a wonderful patch of artificial grass. Oh, thank you. The Joya Lofts and Towers are looking mighty fine. Oh, thank you. <laughs> All right, <laughs> enough's enough. We are standing on a patch of fake grass that's circular and fresh and yeah. recently installed and probably yeah. feels terrific on your feet. Just not as good as actual grass, but a little less dirty unless in fact we have neighbors who don't pick up after their pets, if you know what I mean. I know that you do, but I'm not complaining. It's uh, Rockwell Makati, it's a nice place. Still a BGC fan for sure. It's still a very beautiful place. You can look past a couple of things for sure. You can see the beauty in it. That's unmistakable, yeah. Blinded by the light. You work out? You look like you, you, look like you work out. I, I don't know. I... 
That is an epically tight turn, if you're asking me. <laughs> This was funny. We were walking back up to the proscenium and this super long shuttle bus was like just full of passengers and lodged in like the tightest possible place. I don't even know how it got in there or got out of there. So that was just hilarious. Fine. Was it a successful vlogging adventure, me over Lampagos <laughs> Squared? I'm Marila. What are you Interviewing doing? you for the, the podcast, vlog, show. I know you guys miss my face there, and look, I can see me there while I'm vlogging myself there. That's a cool shot there. I think I like that. We gotta give me that video, please, because that's something I can take to the bank or to YouTube or somewhere. It's the, 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 yeah. What? <laughs>